Hi everybody, I'm Brian Balrick, Production Manager at Roland DGA in Irvine, California. And today I've been asked to field a question about computer specifications and what best to have to run our VersaWorks 6 software the most efficient way. So without further ado, let's take a look. Uh, this particular computer is running Windows 10. I am just going to go down to the search query here at the bottom left and type in about system. All right, with this dialog open, it's going to give us some information. So I happen to be running a Dell laptop that's got a Core i5 uh, processor running at 2.3 gigahertz, 8 gigs of usable RAM on the 64-bit operating system, Windows 10. Um, so right off the bat, let's talk a little bit about the processor and what part it plays. Frankly, it's a very, very critical part. So it's the main central processing unit. It's where all the uh, magic happens. So in our case, if you're going to be converting a graphic that started life as a PDF or EPS and bring it into our RIP and then ask the RIP to generate the printer code for a very large sign, the processor is churning that data. It's, it's basically calculating how to take that image and get it into printer code properly. And that takes a lot of horsepower. So the better the processor, the faster things happen. So, uh, nowadays, we typically are looking at things like Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, and even Core i9. Um, so let's look at the base specs of what VersaWorks requires first. So just doing a simple internet search, VersaWorks 6 specification, we can see that we minimally require a Core 2 Duo. And even though you can install it on that, I would never recommend it nowadays. You can't be even buy a system with a Core 2 Duo, I don't, I don't think. Uh, Core i3 is kind of the new base, Core i5, Core i7, Core i9. Minimum, we need 2 gig of RAM and a video card capable of 1280 by 1024. And up above you see here, we can run on anything from a Windows 7, 8, or 10 operating system. So, let's go back to my screen. So, what am I running? I'm running a Core i5, and that's really like, right nowadays, that's pretty good. Better from that would be the Core i7, and honestly, all that happens is they have more capability. Um, the Core i7 handles memory more efficiently, therefore it can do it more quickly, and therefore things happen faster. Core i9, that much better, so everything just gets better and faster. So, again, uh, if I were looking to spend money uh, nowadays, uh, this might be one place to look, and this is how you do it. So, again, I'd highly recommend knowing what you're installed on and mating that to something current. Core i5, I would honestly say, is kind of a minimum. i7 would be better. Core i9 would be fantastic. I know that we don't have infinite budgets, but that's a good place to spend money. So, something else to do that we can check on this system is by going over to Device Manager... And with this dialog open, I can actually go to the display adapter. So I'd actually have to look this up, but this is, happens to be an Intel HD Graphics 5500. What I wanted to touch on briefly was um, the fact that video cards have an amount of memory, and that comes mainly into play with graphics editing. So again, if you had a one gig video card that had a gig of memory on it, and then you'd have a version of that or that uh, video card that had a 2 gig memory capacity. Well, 2 gigs just gives you more memory to work with and it would theoretically run things a little faster, more capable. So take a look at your video card for sure. Last but not least, let's talk about hard drives. So this system has a hard drive, but unfortunately there's not an easy way to tell if it's a spinning, the older style where there's actually platters spinning around, or if it's solid state, the new memory based type hard drives. But fortunately, at doing a quick internet search, we find out that there's an easy way to do that, and that's just by hitting the uh, Windows and then hitting your R key, and it brings up this dialog box to run. And the command is simply DFRGUI. And we hit OK. We go ahead and minimize that, minimize that. And sure enough, I have uh, my only hard drive is the C drive, and it's solid state, which is great. Um, so real quick, this is another key area where we could make improvements on a system. So where to spend money. If your system seriously was running everything off of an older spinning hard drive, so in this case I see it's solid state, but if it weren't, it would just say disk drive. It just simply wouldn't say solid state. 
if that's what you have and that's what your system's running on, believe me, it's time to think of upgrading because uh, a solid state hard drive is infinitely faster, more capable and access times are very quick. So you'll get through your work a lot quicker. Uh, so again, great place to spend money, processor, hard drive, and we'll talk memory. So on the system I have here, this one I believe is only eight. Let's see here, yeah, I have eight gigs. Nowadays, that's bare minimum. Um, 16 would be recommended, 32 would be even better. That comes into play with a lot of things, but mainly graphics editing. So things like Adobe, Corel, uh, any other editing software that you might choose, uh, Flexi, uh, any of those. So to get through the data, to convert and to also uh, edit is the video card and your RAM are very key and the processor again. So they all work in harmony. And I'll leave you with this thought, which is nowadays uh, you've got all these things inter interwoven and they all work together. So when you have a newer computer with the newer CPU and the correct amount of memory and the right video card that's got more power, and you've got the current version of Windows 10 that has the higher capacity, Windows 10 64, which is great to manage processing. And then you get the latest version of VersaWorks 6. When all of that works in harmony, it is a great experience. Uh, I know it costs money and I know budget's always a factor, but when you build or when you're specking a system to do this kind of work, these are the things that you need to look at. And when you've got them all working uh, together, uh, and they're all very capable, the result and the feeling and the, uh, it's just a great experience. So again, things to think about. I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. Thank you.